hair everyone is a girl intro i'm doing a short tutorial today i try not to talk too much but um i can't guarantee it um it's basically just moving an array around an object in blender and making it look super cool that's what we do here that's what we do so let's hop into blender haha <laughs> All right, so open up a new scene. We're not gonna delete anything crazily enough. So I'm gonna demonstrate this by using a really, really, really simple chain model, which we're quickly gonna make it in literally like three seconds. So holding Z, go into wireframe mode, shift A and insert a torus, um, scale that down. In top view, hit tab to enter into edit mode and whoop, select half of the verts and drag it along here. Hit tab and duplicate that with Control C, Control V. Move that along a teeny bit and RX 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. So this is a really, really, really simple cube chain set up. Select both of them in edit mode and press Control J to join them together. Sorted. We'll come back to that in a second. Let's create a path quickly. Shift A, I'm gonna insert a curve. I'm gonna insert a circle, yeah. Scale that up a bit. Hit tab. Now, to make an infinity, we're gonna move these two verts next to each other. Don't watch how hideous it's looking right now. We're gonna fix this in a second. Don't really have to be that particular about it. And then make all the bezier handles parallel to each other like this then take one and fold it over this, this does not even sound scientific in the least bring it to the other side and there you go you've got an infinity it looks simple but this took me <laughs> eons eons i'm just gonna fix it up by just adjusting a little bit these handles and making it a little bit rounder um but again you probably don't need to be too fussy because just just the path like you're not gonna see this Yeah, you're not gonna... No, you're not gonna see it. I don't know what I'm talking about, mate. You're not gonna see the path. Oof, man's going a little bit mad still. Now make this infinity sort of try and somewhat interact with the object you've got in your scene. Again, all of this can be changed. This is just me demonstrating a very basic example. Cool, I'm not gonna mess around with this anymore. That is my path, right? If we go back into wireframe mode and select our chain link, in modifiers, we're going to add an array modifier and increase the count and change the offset so that they are overlapping just by a little bit. So we've got our chain there. And then the reason why I kept this chain link in the origin is just because Trust me, don't move it out of the middle unless you really know what you're doing with Origins, otherwise you're gonna get a fat headache, trust me. Then I'm gonna add a curve modifier and select this Bezier curve. And as you can see, it follows it perfectly. And I'm just gonna increase the count. So now if you wanna animate the chain to follow the path or the array, it literally could be any kind of array. Um, we're gonna hit N to bring up our transform keyframes. Select your mesh, your, your chain mesh hit I for location, move along your playhead to the end of your scene and not that one, you're gonna bring the X origin, just move it along somewhere over there and then hit I again. And then if we go into our camera, we'll see that we've got, we've got an animation. See it, say it, sort it. Right. Um, what else could I do? I just want to show you quickly what this looks like if you put in a little bit of effort. Um, should be another background texture. Oh, yeah, there we go. That was a problem. Sorry. Insert a background texture. Um, I think this is kind of all I want to talk about in this tutorial. Just because, um... I actually need to go somewhere now. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is where I'm gonna leave this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. 
switch out that chain for anything you want and make this your own have fun with it um yeah i hope this was actually like not too long and to the point i'll see when i edit it but yeah thank you for watching tell me in the comments what you want to see because i honestly don't really know what i'm doing so it's nice if someone can like tell me what they want to see stay safe stay blessed i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching